Unit 6. Okay, no problem. Page 36, Exercise 2, Conversation. Turn down the TV. Part A. Listen and practice. Jason. Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids? <laughs> Definitely. Six, exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What complaints do Jason and Lisa have about their parents? Have you noticed how forgetful Dad is getting? He's always forgetting where his car keys are. It drives me crazy. And he can never find his glasses either. I know. You know what drives me crazy about Mom? What? The awful clothes she wears. Her style is so old-fashioned. It's embarrassing. Yeah, she could use some fashion advice. She should go shopping with you. Oh, well, I guess they're just getting old. I hope I never get like that. Me too. Hey, come on. Let's go play that new game online. Great idea. By the way, have you seen my glasses anywhere? Thirty-seven, exercise three, grammar focus. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Eight, exercise six, listening, family life. Part A. Listen to the results of a survey about family life. Answer each question with men, women, boys, or girls. Welcome to this week's program, Do Men Have It Easy? where we'll take a look at the roles and responsibilities of men and women in families. First, thanks to all of you who responded to our survey. John? Thanks, Jennifer. Later on in the program, we'll be taking your phone calls and talking to Dr. Walters, a family psychologist, who will answer your questions. And now for the results of the survey. Jennifer? Well, in response to the first question, who is the messiest person in the house, the answer was boys. 92% of you said that your sons or brothers don't help much around the house. They don't pick up their things, don't hang up their clothes, and leave their clothes lying around. Interesting. And what about the second question, Jennifer? That was, who does most of the work in the kitchen? Well, 84% of you answered women. Many of you also explained that the boys and men usually take out the garbage. The girls and women tend to cook, do the dishes, and clean up. 
And what about the groceries, Jennifer? Well, according to our results, boys and girls usually put the groceries away. That's surprising. So what else do the women do? Ah, well, that's our next question. Who worries most about expenses? In the majority of homes, it seems that women worry most about household expenses. One young man wrote to us saying, My mother always nags me and my sister. She tells us to get off the phone, to stop spending so long on the computer, to turn off the TV. Well, everything, really. I always thought she just liked to nag, but maybe she's really worried about money. I think that's probably true, don't you, John? Yes, very interesting. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Walters. Exercise 7. Perspectives. Reasonable requests? Part A. Match the sentences. Then listen and check your answers. Are all the requests reasonable? 1. Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? I'd like to make sure I'm not at home. 2. Can you turn the music down, please? The walls are really thin, so the sound goes through to my apartment. 3. Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? We don't want strangers to enter the building. 4. Would you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking spaces? A lot of cars have been using my space recently. 5. Would you mind not putting your garbage in the hallway? It's not very pleasant to see when I walk by. Thirty nine, exercise eight, grammar focus. Requests with modals and would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the music down? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind, plus gerund. Would you mind turning the music down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here?